Whenever I either watch Olympic videos again or in a venue like this, talking about sport, talking about the impact of it, talking about the talking about being back in especially in a competitive environment. You know, I, I've been so lucky over the years, I've worked with a brilliant group of very driven, ambitious, fun, charismatic people. You know, sport just gives you this incredible team to work within. Um, and you talk about the moment, you know, the really competitive moment where you, you put everything on the line to see if you can be the best in the world of what you do. Then the draw of that again is huge. Yeah, of course, I get addicted all over again. You know, it's an incredibly special thing to be part of, to be part of it, you know, in part of elite sport. So, yeah, when I do days like this, yeah, of course it triggers off that, oh gosh, how could I ever walk away? Yeah. Uh, but that's why you can never make the it's like any major decision. You need to somehow slightly detach from the emotion and make a really you know the decision that's right for you. You do a lot to to make yourself the best in the world, and in it's you know a tough road to follow and incredibly exciting and challenging, and, and you love it along the way. Um, but you also it's almost a heart versus head moment in that you know because you love it and because it's what you want to do and everything else. You also as an athlete have such such high standards for yourself if you get to a point where you think you you're not going to keep meeting them or or the hunger isn't there or you know there's injuries or your body won't cope or there's a lot of different reasons that retirement will come into it but it is making it's almost having that i need to make the decision in a slightly more unemotional way that for all these reasons it's at the right time to stop um and it's i think if you know when that time is right then, then that's really good as an athlete the hard bit is when this is agonizing, I don't know which I don't know what's right. There's no obvious way.